give the presentation on Quex cable. <laughs> and our task was to investigate the propagation of the voltage wave and also the speed and the reflection time to generate the pulse uh, and of course the ampli amplitude of the voltage. Um, in our case, we have uh, two tasks. One was uh, an open end uh, and the other was with the load. Uh, of uh, a capacitance, I think it was 0.39 uh, nanofarad and uh, inductor of 100. Um, uh, we, uh, we basically we will uh, we were using uh, RG58 cable, and it has 500 elements in it, and each element consists of an inductor and um, capacitor, um, and we model it um, using this uh, lumped cable. Uh, this is just to, uh, yeah, this is the constitu uh, constitutive equation, um, as you can see, um, voltage <coughs> across uh, the uh, capacitor, uh, one of the equation I forgot to put, uh, it was UL4, uh, my mistake, but uh, here you can see uh, Kirchhoff current law, here we apply the Kirchhoff voltage law, <coughs> and then uh, this is the system of equation for uh, four elements and by using this uh, we made uh, the system of equation the ABC matrix for uh, 500 elements um, and this is uh, furthermore uh, the ABC matrix here uh, I generate uh, the C matrix and I generate C matrix for a uh, uh, capacitor across uh, for the voltage across C4 capacitance and this is the C1 matrix and <coughs> this is the Simulink uh, model uh, in the first case we use uh, the model uh, for the out, uh, open end output and in the second case I use the with the load <coughs> and now this is the uh, this is the simulation with an open end as you can see, uh, with the blue, this uh, blue represents the voltage at the input end, and this red represents the voltage at the output end. And you can see uh, the time, uh, the time is almost same, and the amplitude is perfect, 0.2 volts. So as we move forward. This is the simulation with the load. Here, <coughs> I don't know if there was some fluctuation, but maybe if we uh, increase the time, maybe the voltage will uh, be uh, the same with the load. Maybe it's because of the, I think it's because of the reflection time, I think, uh, or impedance that resulted in uh, the in, uh, fluctuation, a little more fluctuation in the input end. Uh, but I'm not sure, but, uh, according to me, I think it's due to the um, impedance of the signal generated. Can okay. uh, this is a, a snapshot that we took. I just wanted to show, uh, I just put it because I wanted to show it. Um, in this case, uh, the yellow line <coughs> is the input and <coughs> the green line is the output. Okay. This is the open end uh, input voltage comparison. <coughs> Here the blue line represents the voltage at input end and the <coughs> green line represents voltage at output end. Here you can see again the voltage is the same. The comparison, if you compare it, it's 0 0.2 volts again. So it's, uh, according to me, the verification seems quite much similar. <coughs> This is uh, open and output voltage comparison for both uh, Simulink and <coughs> uh, experimental results. The red one is uh, for the Simulink and the pink shows uh, the experimental. Here again uh, the voltage and the amplitude of the voltage is again the same 0 0.2 and the time is again the same. So <coughs> as we move forward. We have a comparison of input voltage with load. Uh, again, you can see the 
blue line representing <coughs> the result of the MATLAB and the green line the green line represents the experiment, uh, experimental result. Uh, the, you can see it's again the same. Uh, the voltage is again 0 0.2, so this shows the verification is quite much similar for both the experimental and the MATLAB result. And uh, this is the comparison of the output voltage with load. Here again, uh, for the output and uh, the MATLAB experiment again we have some little fluctuation but I think if we increase the time <coughs> it will eventually be 0 0.2 it should be I think but it's I don't know the exact reason but I think so it should be um, and this is <coughs> the verification part for uh, open it uh, both uh, in Simulink and in MATLAB here, if we uh, compare the, <coughs> if <coughs> the blue line is for the input end and the red is for the output end, we compare, we see <coughs> uh, it's again 0 0.2 the voltage, and here <coughs> there is some delay, uh, but uh, it's because of the reflection time of the wave uh, that comes back in the cable and generates the pulse. And in this case, we have uh, <coughs> input end and output end for uh, <coughs> the experiment and simulate result. Here again, we have uh, <coughs> a 0 0.2 volt. Uh, uh, it's similar. It's like 0 0.2. The voltage is 0 0.2. And to, to prove it, to, to be sure, uh, we did the cal uh, calculation for, uh, for the verification. And here we can see we, uh, we get the for experimental part we get the velocity. Uh, we use the formula uh, v equals to uh, square root of one over L C. And uh, here we get for velocity we get one point nine nine two three six. And the time <coughs> that we get is five zero uh, four point five na nanoseconds. And in the similar way, if we go down for the simulation result. Uh, it's quite much similar. You can see here. It's this. Uh, I think we can compare it uh, because it's five zero four and five twelve nanoseconds, so it can be uh, compared. And um, finally, the velocity is one point nine five three. Uh, if you compare it with the experimental result, it's almost same. Uh, just quite a little difference, but that's it. And then the discussion, I think, uh, uh, with the verification uh, of the calculation that we did, I think it's uh, possible to say that the results are quite much similar. And there was some mistake uh, in one of the graph, in one of the two graphs, I think there was some fluctuation. But overall, I think we managed uh, to do Thank you.